Well, folks, DJ Uingadale is fucking garbage. This guy is a disgrace of a quarterback. And Boston College humiliated. They, they smoked. They absolutely crushed. The Florida State Seminoles here. It was what, 28 to 13, the final score. And DJ had what, a 15 completion percentage. He looked awful. And he is the definition of a game manager that, you know, does not belong anywhere near a major Power Five conference team, like a ranked Power Five um, conference school. This is a guy who maybe, you know, should, would be a fringe starter. At like some cream puff team like Duke or fucking Wake Forest or I don't even fucking know Illinois some cream puff team that wins five six games barely makes a bowl game it's a cream puff power five that would lose to most really good power five conference schools he doesn't belong in you know a power conference and he's a game manager and he's the worst type of game manager he is a guy who is a master of telegraphing his passes every single time he drops back to throw. Now, what do I mean by telegraphing passes? In my honest opinion, telegraphing a throw, that means to me, from what I, you know, from the way I look at it, is you're making one read, and, and if your first read is covered, you, you don't make a second read, or you make the second read quickly, and you don't give it time to develop, and you start running. So you make one read and run, or you go one, two, oh, two hasn't developed yet, let me start running. And mostly, you know, there were some decent pockets that DJU had to throw this game. There was pressure, and the receivers were dropping passes. But he, his accuracy was so bad from the short and intermediate sort of levels of the field that there would, I mean, he should have been benched after the first half. Because if they put the backup in, and the backup just showed decent accuracy, they probably would have beat Boston College. Because Boston College, you know, they're Boston College. We're not. You're not fucking playing Ohio State, or you're not fucking playing Alabama or Georgia. You're not playing a really fucking good school year. You're playing Boston College. You don't really need to fucking. You don't need to call trick plays and get fancy and try to gimmick your offense up like they did in this game. And that's got to be on the coaching as well. Norville called the fucking horrible game. Whoever the offensive coordinator for Florida State called the fucking atrocious game. But DJ Yuan Galilei is fucking garbage this guy does not belong anywhere near um a power you know a power program starting for a power conference school and he showed that today he has a good arm and he has great you know a great prototypical you know size for an elite collegiate quarterback but once again that's where the pros the upside of his game at qb happen to end he can't read defenses he doesn't know where the defense is going to be he can't really read coverages or process information at an elite level which is, you know, needed to be a great college quarterback that would translate well into the pros of the NFL. And let me break it to you folks. DJ Ungalale, I forgot his fucking name already, cannot fucking play in the NFL. He has no traits of an NFL quarterback that would make it. He maybe would be a, I don't fucking know, a scout team player that, you know, you could emulate a big statuesque pocket quarterback, which there's not many of those in the NFL anymore. So... He's a fucking worthless player. And this is where I get sort of ranty in this video because in my opinion, I think that DJU is one of the biggest recruiting busts of the past fucking decade at the quarterback position, folks. Yes, you heard it right. This guy is a fucking bum. And he has not developed in four years in college. For Clemson, he was a game manager who showed flashes. Oregon State gave him a chance. He looked like a game manager. Now, Florida State University came knocking at his door with NIL money up the fucking wazoo. And he sucks. He is absolutely garbage. This guy is someone who you can't rely on or depend on to win you a fucking football game when you need to the most. And that is shown in the last two games. After the first game, it was like, okay, maybe it's jet lag. They're in a different country. Or the excuse was valid, but it was kind of fucking stupid. This time, they're at home. Where's the excuse? There's none! They don't have any fucking excuse whatsoever. And no one's defending this guy for, for a very, very good fucking reason, folks. For a good reason. He does not have what it takes to play in a power conference. He's shown this time and time again. He couldn't even play and dissect defenses at a high level against the cream puff pack 12 defenses, 
where they had some of the worst defenses, they would give up fucking points on purpose so their offense could go down and fucking score. I mean, that was what the Pac-12 was. It was a disgrace of football where teams would intentionally fucking neglect defense to get a high-scoring fucking offense so they can make the games look, oh my god, we scored 68 points, but ah, fuck, we lost 78 to 68. Fuck, we'll get them next time. Our defense is real fucking day and really held up fucking well. That's what the Pac-12 teams were doing. And Oregon State were one of the better defenses in the Pac-12. They actually have a solid defense. But that didn't fucking matter because DJ Ongalale is still DJ Ongalale, all right? That's who he fucking is. He's not fucking John Elway. He's no Joe Montana, folks. He's not fucking Tom Brady. He is horrible. He sucks. And, I mean, all the hype that he had coming out of high school... Oh, he's going to be the heir apparent to, to Trevor Lawrence. He's going to, you know, continue the, you know, elite Clemson quarterback sort of carousel. He ruined that whole fucking program. He destroyed and completely and utterly derailed Clemson when it comes to the QB position. Now they have trash Kate Klubnik, who plays just like DJU, and they can't recruit elite quarterbacks. So, DJU can be credited with the fall of the Clemson fucking teams, especially at the quarterback position. Dabo Sweeney is not a good coach, but he didn't really have, he hasn't, he doesn't have a good quarterback, so I can't blame him too much, but he sucks, he's, you know, doesn't use the portal enough, but that's where my problems with the portal sort of come into play. You need to know how to develop your own young quarterback prospect, especially guys from your own backyard that you recruit. You're going to have them sit behind these fucking bozos like DJ Ungalale, who you know are game managers at best, and you can't win a national title with a game manager unless you've got fucking 10 other NFL caliber fucking players, five NFL offensive linemen, four or five future NFL wide receivers, a bunch of, you know, Two fucking future goddamn running backs to go to the NFL. A future NFL tight end that starts for an NFL team. We saw that last year with Michigan, and that's why J.J. McCarthy was picked so high. Because, I mean, he looked fucking great, but he had like fucking ten other NFL fucking players playing alongside him. But with DJ, you, fucking DJ, you, you don't have that luxury of having ten other fucking elite players on the field. Because you lost half of those guys to the NFL, and half them fucking now are at the next chapter of their lives. They're moving on. They moved on to greener pastures. They either declare for the draft or they fucking graduated, folks. They're no longer there. They're not with the program anymore. So bringing in DJU made no fucking sense to begin with. Just develop a cornerback from your own fucking backyard. Stop trying to recruit these pud ass, dud ass, bum ass fucking quarterbacks who are game managers who cannot lead a team to a national title. I mean, you were in the same conference as Clemson when DJU was a starting quarterback for that fucking school. So why the fuck would you want to ever bring him in knowing what he did for an ACC program? He ruined them. He killed the fucking program. He killed Clemson, and now he's going to fucking kill Florida State, man. This shit is despicable. He's committing fucking fraud. He's stealing NIL checks from these fucking teams. It's absurd. They gave this guy a shitload of money to come to their program, and he's garbage, and he's pl probably playing like shit on purpose. Because he knows he got the check, and he can just bounce out and say, fuck this, I played like shit. I, I probably ain't going to no National Football League. I might be a UFO fucking scout team fucking arm, but I don't care. I got my two, three million dollars in NIL fucking deals because Florida State doesn't know what the fuck they're looking at because... I used to play for Clemson, and I derailed that program single-handedly at the quarterback position. DJ Ungalale is fucking garbage. Ran over. Thank you all for watching. He is the reason they lost this game. This has been Mr. Truth, and this was nothing but the truth.